Hello Little Adventurers! Welcome to Little Adventures by Akusuya. Little Adventurers, imagine the only water in your village was muddy and unsafe to drink. The water in your village, the one that everyone depends on. Little Adventurers, what would you do? How would you make it clean? Deep in the heart of an African village, nestled between golden grasslands and towering baobab trees, the sun shimmers over the dusty ground. The river that once flowed strong is now still. No laughter, just the whisper of dry leaves swaying in the breeze. A lone bird lands at the water's edge dips its beak, then pulls back. Even the river moves sluggishly, its surface clouded with dust and drifting leaves. Something is different, something is wrong. What could have changed? What will happen next? Without clean water, how would they cook? How would they drink? How would they even care for their families? But two young adventurers, Amma and Kofi, refused to give up. There must be a way to clean the water. But how? With curiosity, determination, and a little science, Amma and Kofi set out on a daring quest to find the answer. Will they find a way to solve the problem? Or will their journey teach them an even greater lesson? Join us on this STEM-powered adventure and find out. Are you ready to dive in? Little adventurers, grab the adventure hats. This is going to be big. Little adventurers, if you love exploring with us, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this adventure with your friends and family. The more adventurous, the more fun we have. Stay with us, little adventurers, because an exciting discovery is just around the corner. Let's dive into the story of the Great Water Quest. With no time to waste, Amma and Kofi press on. The river won't fix it. They need to find answers and fast. Amma has an idea. Little adventurers, what would you do if you had to investigate the problem? What clues would you look for? Amma and Kofi Armed with curiosity and a plan, they begin their first challenge, figuring out what's in the water. What do you think, little adventurers? Before Amma and Kofi can fix the water, they must first understand why it's dirty. Amma and Kofi gather everything they can find. Sand, stones, and even cloth from an old scarf. Amma and Kofi pour the muddy water through their filter. But wait, the water is still brown. Kofi is feeling frustrated. Little adventurers, have you ever felt this way when something didn't work? What did you do next? Now, it's time to test the filter. Will it work, little adventurers? Let's find out. Will the filter work? Or will Amma and Kofi have to try again? Let's test it together. Oh no, the water isn't fully clean. Was the sand not enough to trap the dirt? Did the cloth let tiny bits slip through? Or 
Do they need another material to help filter better? What do you think went wrong, little adventurous? Amma knows there is a missing piece. Little adventurous, can you think of what they might need to change? Little adventurous, have you ever tried something that didn't work the first time? What did you do? Sitting near a great baobab tree, Amma and Kofi take a deep breath. Then something clicks. Amma's eyes light up. Kofi isn't giving up. He is ready to try again. Only this time with a new idea. Little adventurous, what would you do differently this time? Little adventurous, think about the rain. What happens when it falls? It doesn't just stay on top of the ground. It moves. It travels through soil, through rocks, through layers of the earth, getting cleaner along the way. Could this be the answer? What do you think? How can Amma and Kofi use nature's method to clean the water? With new energy, they rebuild their filter, carefully adding layers of sand, charcoal and rocks. The water drips through slowly. Then will this new filter work? Science is all about testing and improving. Should they add more sand to trap smaller dead particles? Maybe a different material will work better. Or should they test another way to clean the water? Little adventurous, every great inventor faces challenges. What would you do to improve their filter? Would you add more layers, try a new material, or design a completely new method? The best ideas come from trying, learning, and never giving up. So, little adventurous, what's your next great idea? Would you build a stronger filter, invent something brand new, or test a completely different way to clean water? Your ideas can change the world. Keep exploring, keep creating, and remember, every great inventor starts just like you. Little adventurous, today we learned that solving problems isn't always easy. But that's what makes it exciting. Science is all about testing, learning from mistakes, and trying again. And guess what? Every experiment teaches us something new. Amma and Kofi faced a challenge when their first filter didn't work. But they didn't give up. No way. Instead, they kept thinking, testing, and searching for better ideas. Just like real inventors do. Great thinkers never give up. And guess what? Just like Amma and Kofi, you can solve big problems too. Fun fact. Did you know that some plants can help clean dirty water? Plants like water lilies and reeds help clean water by absorbing harmful substances. Nature is its own water filter. Little adventurous, let's think. Imagine you needed to clean water for your village, but you didn't have a filter. What natural materials could you use to make one? Sand, leaves, or something else? Cultural note. Did you know that 
In many African villages, people have used natural methods to purify water for generations. Some communities filter water through layers of sand and charcoal, while others use seeds from the moringa tree to help clean it. Science isn't just in labs. It's part of cultures and traditions around the world. What traditional knowledge do you think could help solve problems today, Little Adventurers? Thank you so much for watching Little Adventurers. We loved having you on this journey. Little Adventurers, are you ready for another thrilling journey? Deep in the golden savannah, where the grass sways and the wind whispers, something incredible is about to unfold. A lost baby gazella, a pack of hungry hyenas, and one small but very clever hare. Can the tiniest creature outsmart the fiercest hunters? With quick thinking, courage, and a touch of wisdom, the hare is about to prove that even the smallest can be the smartest. But will the plan work before the sun sets? Stay tuned for the clever hare's great rescue. Little adventurers, if you love this adventure, please make sure to subscribe like and share so we can go on even more thrilling quests together. Remember little adventurers, every great discovery begins with curiosity and a willingness to try. Mistakes aren't failures, they are just steps on the path to success. Keep exploring. Keep asking questions and never stop believing in your ideas. The world needs problem solvers like you. Until next time, little adventurers, stay brave, stay kind. Bye, little adventurers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.